Hello and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here for the very first time, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. My name's Hannah and I make a lot of videos about anti-MLM. So at the beginning of every video, I link my big anti-MLM playlist. There's over 180 videos on there at this time. I've been told that it's very bingeable. There's all different kinds of videos on there. There's MLM horror story videos where people are sharing their shocking and ridiculous experiences with these companies. Then there's MLM top fails videos. This is where we are kind of reacting to and debunking and commenting on things that are posted by MLM reps on social media. I have deep dive videos into different companies telling you how they're structured and how they work and what the compensation plan is like. And then there's kind of this fourth category of video, which I don't know what to call it. I always get the urge to call it like a mini dive or something. It's some very specific topic that I caught wind of. I went on my own little expedition, figuring out what I could find about it. And then I'm bringing you my results. And that's the exact kind of video I have for you today. This is what I would call somewhat of breaking news in the anti-MLM space. So I wanted to make a little deep dive video about it, bring it to your attention just so that it's on your radar. Because personally, I think it's something pretty concerning that's happening that you would like to know about. Now, the info that I have for you today was kind of a collective group effort by several different people. I kind of got different pieces of information from everyone and put the puzzle together. And I went, there it is. There is the topic of the video. Okay. I had this concerning thing over here. I heard this weird piece of information over here. I gave it a couple of weeks and it all came to together for me. So that's what I'm bringing you today. And that is the MLM company Optivia is launching a brand new pilot program to some of the reps in their company in which they can get access to weight loss medications like Wegovy or Ozempic from a telehealth provider that is partnering with Optivia to give people a discount. And the idea is that they're going to use these two programs together in tandem. They're going to be on the Optivia diet dealing with their nutrition over here, but then they're also going to be introducing pharmaceuticals to lose weight that way as well. This new partnership right here is mostly under wraps. Optivia is not advertising it on a wide scale yet because it only applies to a select number of coaches in their company as they're called. The reps, the people who sign up for the business opportunity, they're called coaches and it's only open to some of them. It's a pilot program. It's not open company wide yet. My intuition is telling me that maybe these are the top earners. Maybe these are the people with the largest teams or the most influence within the company or the highest performers. I don't know that for sure. That's just what I feel like is probably the case. And my impression is that it's open to those coaches and their downline. So if you are somebody within their team, as you'll see, I have screenshots and stuff to show you, but you'll go to the website and you choose your coach, AKA who you're under. And then it kind of funnels you down the process to get an Ozempic prescription. So I've got the screenshots. I've got the receipts. We're going to expose all of this and of course get into why I think this is really, really dangerous and concerning. But before we dive into the whole situation, I think it's necessary to give an overview of what Optivia is so that you can get a true sense of what we're dealing with here. Optivia is an MLM, a multi-level marketing company. This is where people sign up for the business opportunity. They make money by selling the products, but they also make money when they recruit people and build a team. AKA Optivia is a product-based pyramid scheme. In my opinion, yuck, gross. We hate it. We don't support that around here. And the product that Optivia sells is weight loss programs, but not healthy ones, not ones that help you lose weight in a healthy way. Oh no, no. They sell programs in which you are spending hundreds of dollars on prepackaged powders that you consume multiple times a day in place of real meals, in place of real food. These powders are called fuelings and you mix them all with water to create a whole bunch of different food-like substances. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We have chewy chocolate chip cookies, red bean and vegetable chili, sour cream and chive mashed potatoes, tropical fruit smoothies, roasted garlic mashed potatoes, coffee soft serve. And I've also got a packet of zesty cheddar and Italian herb crunchers. This is what you're paying for when you sign up for Optivia. Why do I have these in my possession? You may ask. That's because last fall I checked my PO box randomly and there was an entire box of Optivia fuelings in it because somebody who was leaving the company and quitting the program passed them along to me. So no, I did not spend my own money on this. This would have ended up in the trash had it not been sent to me. And what I did with it is I actually made all of these fuelings and I taste tested them for a video. I can link that below if you'd like to see it. I personally, it's one of my favorite videos. I think it's very entertaining. But the point is that each of these packets of powders is considered a fueling. And depending on the program that you choose from Optivia, you're going to be eating somewhere between three and five of these a day in place of food. Again, depending on the program you choose, you're going to get between one and three lean and green meals a day. I call this the real food, but it's literally just meat and vegetables, leans and greens. These packets range 
range between 90 and 110 calories each. So that means that you're gonna be eating approximately 300 to 500 calories worth of fuelings in a day, depending on which plan you choose. If you do the most restrictive plan, this is called the five in one, where you're eating five fuelings and one lean and green meal per day. I estimate that that's gonna give you somewhere around 900 to 1,000 calories for the entire day. And the five in one plan, according to Optavia, is considered the weight loss plan. This is the one that you choose if you're looking to drop a lot of weight. But they also have a plan called the three and three, which is three fuelings and three lean and greens. And this is just considered their maintenance plan. This is the plan you choose if you just wanna keep the weight that you're at. Basically what this translates to is the more fuelings you're eating, the more weight you're gonna lose. The more real food you eat, the less weight you're gonna lose. And that's because these fuelings are extremely low calorie. So obviously the more that you eat of them in place of real food, that means the more you're restricting yourself, the larger caloric deficit you're gonna be putting yourself in, therefore the more weight you're going to lose. The appeal of Optivia, I would imagine, is that it's kind of a simple approach to weight loss, I guess, because all the brain power is taken completely out of it. Everything is prepackaged, the portions are set, the math is done for you. You can just place your order, spend the money, eat the fuelings, and you can expect that you're probably gonna lose some weight. There's no meal prepping, there's no calorie or macro counting. The fuelings are super portable. You just add water to them, choke them down, and move on with your day. You're gonna be paying a hefty price for this kind of convenience though if you're doing the five-in-one plan where you're eating five fuelings a day. That comes out to be $16.60 per day or roughly $500 a month, plus the cost of groceries for your lean and green meals, plus the cost of groceries for your family and whatever they're eating, because Lord knows they're not gonna be eating this crap too. If you do that three-in-three three plan, it's gonna be about $300 a month, again, plus the cost of groceries, a ridiculous amount of money for this. This is what you're gonna be eating in a day. They even sent me these little dishes that come with the Optivia program. They're meant specifically for this chewy chocolate chip cookie mix. You mix it in here and you put this in the oven. Let me tell you, it only fills it up about halfway. These packets in general are only full about halfway. This volume is a joke. It's not gonna be satisfying. It's not gonna fill you up. You will feel like you are starving. I almost guarantee it. And you're gonna be paying $500 to do so. Here's the conclusion I want you to take out of all of this, okay? Optivia is an MLM that sells incredibly expensive, extremely low calorie products with the claim that it will give you optimal health and that it will help you lose weight. And I'm of the opinion, if it's not clear already, <laughs> that Optivia is a complete ripoff in which you're bleeding money into these products that only work for weight loss because they are severely depriving your body of proper calories and proper nutrition. I can almost guarantee you that you will lose a lot of weight if you do the Optivia program, but that's because you're starving yourself, not because it's healthy. So all of that background information I feel is important to set up the context of this video because Optivia is not a healthy program to be on. I hope I have made that crystal clear. So now when I tell you that Optivia just announced they're rolling out this program where their coaches can get easy access to weight loss medication, I hope you can see how dangerous this has the potential to be. The first thing that brought this situation to my attention was an email that was forwarded to me. Somebody who is still on the Optivia email list got this message that was sent out to all Optivia coaches from the president of the company, Nick Johnson, on July 6th of 2023. It's a long email, but I am gonna read the whole thing to you. It says, good evening, independent Optivia coaches. As a physician founded company designed and backed by experts in health and behavior change, science is at the center of all we do. Okay. We have perfected our model over the last 40 years with the Habits of Health transformational system. Independent Optivia coaches and community at our core and efficacious plans and products to support clients in reaching their health goals. We will continue to innovate as the industry evolves. While available for many years, medically supported weight loss and weight loss medications have recently been in the headlines for significant advances in efficacy. These pharmaceutical interventions can play an important role in addressing the health epidemic in this country and as part of treatment plans for some. However, while these medications can provide a jump start, we know that lifestyle change is the cornerstone of long-term healthy living. People need holistic, manageable solutions that also incorporate behavioral lifestyle modifications and support to help them reach their health and wellness goals through wide-ranging, multifaceted habit creation. 
take a breath, okay? Did the sentence need to be that much of a word salad? I don't feel like it did. This is like they're trying to reach a word count or something. It almost feels like they're trying to include so much unnecessary fancy jargon to intentionally confuse people and it worked on me, which I'll tell you about in a second. But it says our science-based products and coaching model makes Optivia a powerful solution alone or as a component to weight loss medications. Okay, pause it right there. That's about halfway through the email. Just to recap this word salad for you. Basically what they're saying is you can take weight loss drugs, but you're also going to need to make some lifestyle changes if you want to maximize your results, such as with your nutrition. And that's where Optavia comes in. We are framing our program as the perfect pairing to weight loss medication because it's going to take care of that nutrition piece for you. Do the Optavia program simultaneously with your weight loss drugs to lose as much weight as possible. The rest of the email says the landscape of our industry is changing and given our medical heritage, we see strong possibilities for compatibility and are exploring opportunities to see how medically supported weight loss could work alongside Optavia. We are exploring ways to offer a combination of our habits-based coach-guided solution together with medical weight loss to serve those potential clients who may be in need of and eligible for the medical weight loss prescription drugs and looking for a multi-pronged approach. We're doing this through a small pilot program in partnership with a network of telehealth providers that combine our Optavia solution with drug therapy. This program is exclusively available to a small select group of coaches and their clients. We will not be advertising this program broadly, and it is not available to the public at large at this time. As we evaluate the results, we will take action to determine the right path forward for Optavia. Coaches remain central to our client's success, and we continue to be committed to helping people live a healthier lifestyle. Everyone's journey and preferences are unique and therefore require a personalized approach. While there may be different paths to take and tools to leverage along the road to optimal health and well-being all share lifestyle as a common thread. Healthy habits and support play a key role in helping our clients find long-term health. Our mission remains unchanged. We meet people where they are with tools that can support them through their personal journey, helping them achieve lifelong transformation one healthy habit at a time. We will keep you informed as we evaluate the results of this pilot program. In the meantime, if you have any specific questions, please reach out to the Optavia coach support team at blah, blah, blah. Sincerely, Nick Johnson, Optavia president. Okay. So when I very first got this email, I reread it probably 10 times to try and decode what the heck they're talking about. What drug therapies, what pilot program, what telehealth providers, what are you talking about? I feel like this email in itself provides very little information. It's kind of cryptic. And that's why at first I was thinking to myself, something is off about this situation. Something is not right here. There might be a story here but this email in itself is not enough to create an entire video about. And then about a week later, I got some information that hinted towards the fact that this drug therapy they're talking about is actually Ozempic and how Optavia is working out this program where they can get their coaches an Ozempic prescription. Now I'm like, okay, we're on to something because there's been a ton of buzz about Ozempic in the media recently, which we'll also get to in just a minute. But even still, that wasn't enough to make a video on because it was kind of like a rumor. It was kind of like, I think they're talking about Ozempic. But the person who tipped me off that it might be Ozempic also put me in connection with someone who provided me proof that it is Ozempic. I've got the receipts and I'm going to show them to you, I promise. But before that, I feel like it's important to talk about the significance that it is Ozempic, considering the drama surrounding it recently. So if you're not familiar, Ozempic is a non-insulin injection medication that was originally designed to help people with type 2 diabetes manage their blood sugar levels. However, studies have shown that a secondary use for Ozempic is actually for weight loss, and it can also be prescribed off-label to help people manage their weight. In fact, the active ingredient in Ozempic is called semaglutide, and in 2021, the FDA approved semaglutide for weight loss under the name Wegovi, which is a higher dose of semaglutide than is found in Ozempic. And it works in two ways. One of them is by suppressing your appetite, and the other one is by slowing the rate at which your stomach empties. In recent news, there's unfortunately been a shortage of Ozempic because people are catching wind of its ability to help you lose weight. In my head, I kind of have three categories of people. First are the people who get a prescription for Ozempic because they need it for diabetes, which is its original use. The second group of people get a prescription for Ozempic for weight loss because it is medically indicated and because their health depends on it. But then there's that third group of people who they don't have diabetes and they may not really have to lose weight or their health doesn't depend on it, but they still seek out that medication because they want a quicker, 
quicker or more simple way to shed those pesky pounds and they're willing to pay the out-of-pocket costs or they can afford to pay the out-of-pocket costs. And as a result, it's causing a shortage of this medication for people who actually need it for a medical reason. And I want to be so clear here that obesity or needing to lose weight for your health is a medical reason. There are people who get an Ozempic prescription for weight loss who genuinely do need it and that's okay. But that's not really where the shortage is coming from. It's coming from an over prescription of this medication to those who really don't need it. And it's one of those nice to have, but not need to have situations. And the example that keeps popping into my head when I think of this third group of people is celebrities. This is a huge topic in pop culture right now because celebrities are losing shocking amounts of weight, basically going from thin to thinner, seemingly overnight. There's reports of celebrities in the media who are open about the fact that they have struggled to lose weight in the past. And then it's like, boom, the FDA approved semaglutide and now everyone and super skinny. It seems to be that people in that kind of situation are the ones that are causing this shortage. I can link a few news articles below if you'd like to read more about that. It just kind of feels like Ozempic is all the rage the past year and a half or so, ever since these clinical trials came out showing its effectiveness for weight loss and ever since it was approved by the FDA. I don't know, I'm almost tempted to call it like recreational use or something for those people who are like, I've got a red carpet coming up and I need to drop a few pounds so I can fit into my dress or something like that. There's more demand for this medication than there is supply because there are some people out there who don't really need it and they're using it for recreational purposes, while those who do need it to help manage their health conditions are not able to get it. They're struggling to find it. It's kind of like a trend, a fad, the hot new thing in the world of weight loss right now. And because I already kind of had some knowledge about that situation, my interest was immediately piqued when I learned that this pilot program that Optavia is launching has to do with hooking their coaches up with Ozempic. So here's the receipts. Optavia recently hosted a presentation where they're introducing a few new things that are going on within the company, the Ozempic pilot program being one of them. Here's one of the slides that was shown on that presentation that actually has a photo of Ozempic injections on it, clearly suggesting that this is the mystery drug that the email was referring to. And what this slide is showing us is that it's categorizing Optavia reps based on their health. And it's suggesting that if you fall into the very unhealthy or the sick categories, then you would probably be a candidate for an Ozempic prescription under this program. What I also want you to notice is that along the top of this scale, it's also suggesting which Optavia program would be right for you based on your health. And you'll see that if you fall into this very unhealthy or sick range, the ones that would qualify you for Ozempic, it's recommending that you do the Optavia 5-in-1 program. That's the one we talked about earlier where you're going to be consuming about a thousand calories in a day through five fuelings and one lean and green meal. The 5-in-1 plan is extremely restrictive and in my opinion, extremely unhealthy and unsustainable. So it's kind of interesting to see that this graphic is sending the message that those who are the most unhealthy or sick should then be starving themselves on the five in one program in combination with taking weight loss drugs. That does not strike me as very safe personally, but what do I know? I'm not a professional. It is true that you can maximize your results with Ozempic if you have healthy eating habits and healthy lifestyle habits, but that's the thing. Optavia is not healthy. The second slide from this Optavia presentation says medical weight loss can be effective, but lifestyle change is critical, which most doctors are not in the business of providing. In fact, medical weight loss must be prescribed alongside an improved diet and increased physical activity. Two of our core healthy habits. Optavia's program is complementary to this medical weight loss approach. Um, I could not disagree more that Optavia is the best thing to be pairing with Ozempic. Okay, I think that's pretty clear. I can't think of pretty much any context in which Optavia would be the healthy choice or the healthy approach to weight loss. That's how they market themselves, of course, but I can't personally see how consuming 100 calorie packets of powder five times a day is good for you. So I think it's delusional to be presenting these two things alongside one another and saying that this is going to be a good pairing. Part of the way Ozempic works is by suppressing your appetite. So I would imagine that the desire to eat is not that great all the time time. But then when you do eat, it's processed powders from an MLM company. Like, ah, no, like it just concerns me deeply. And that's another thing. Remember what we're talking about here. We are talking about a multi-level marketing company, a pyramid scheme. I don't think we should be trusting any MLM company's claims about what their products can do for your health. It's all unsubstantiated. None of those claims are proven to be true. And we should not be relying upon MLM products to help us take control of our health in the first place place. And this is beyond
beyond bizarre to me that an MLM company is launching a program where they can funnel people to get access to a prescription weight loss drug. It is so strange. And let's talk about that because the email kept mentioning a telehealth company that we're partnering with. That was still a piece of the puzzle that I wasn't clear about. Like, okay, where are people going to get this prescription? And thankfully I got that information from an informant, I guess we can call her. But the telehealth provider that the email was referring to is a company called LifeMD. LifeMD is an online telehealth website where you can pay to sign up for a monthly membership. And this gives you access to healthcare over the internet in the form of video calls or 24 seven chat messaging. Here's the webpage that was sent to me. And this is kind of showing the collab between LifeMD and Optavia. The banner at the top says special offer for Optavia clients who want medical weight loss support. And it's got a picture of a generic healthcare provider next to a semaglutide injection, AKA Ozempic, AKA Wegovi. If you scroll down, it says LifeMD is excited to partner with Optavia to deliver transformational healthcare. Step one, connect with a doctor to get your prescription for Ozempic. Step two, start the program with LifeMD and subscribe to their services. Step three is to support your weight loss through the encouragement of an Optavia coach. So even this right here is suggesting get your medication, but also do the Optavia program. So I ran myself through the process of trying to get one of these prescriptions and here's how it went, okay? If you click the button that says, am I eligible? The first page it brings you to is this drop down list where you can select your Optavia coach. Again, remember not every Optavia coach is listed here because it's just a pilot program that they're testing out. They're not making it widely available to everybody in the company yet. So at this point, it's only available for these particular coaches and their downlines and their clients. Then it asks you to answer a few health related questions. I went through each of these steps and I answered honestly for myself. And I said that my goal was to maintain my weight, that I am within the 20 to 29 year old age range, that I eat well and I stay active, that I do not have diabetes. And then I provided my height and my weight. But here's what was kind kind of shocking is that based on the answers I gave, it told me that I am pre-qualified for an Ozempic prescription. I couldn't actually believe that when I saw it. I said that I don't want to lose weight. I said that I'm not diabetic. I said that I'm young and I'm active and I eat well. And the conclusion it came to after all those answers was like, yeah, you could probably use a weight loss drug. Really? I would not personally consider myself to be a candidate for Ozempic. So that was really shocking for me to see. I mean, I did just have a baby. I have a few pounds to lose that I'm still holding on to from that. I would consider myself to be a person who is generally in good health. I wouldn't ever think to go to my doctor and ask for a weight loss prescription. I don't feel like I'm a good candidate for that. I don't feel like I have a need for that. But alas, apparently, according to my answers, I'm pre-qualified to get this prescription. And then it takes me to this page where it says I can get 50% off my first three months of a LifeMD subscription with this Optavia promo. So for $193, dollars and 50 cents, I can sign up for Life MD, and then I can get my appointment with a telehealth provider who I can talk to about getting that Ozempic prescription. But remember that that cost does not cover the cost of the medication. This $193 right here, that's just to sign up for the Life MD platform. And that's at a 50% discount with the Optavia promo. So you've got to pay that much just to get an appointment with somebody to see if you can get your hands on a prescription. And then you might have to pay a portion of that out of pocket depending on your insurance. And Ozempic is very, very expensive, hundreds of dollars out of pocket. And then the next step from here is to pay the sign up fee and to book my appointment with a provider who can write me a prescription. Does this feel utterly bizarre to anyone else? I am in the twilight zone. I'm so confused about why this partnership between LifeMD and Optavia even exists. It is so weird to me. Whose idea was this and what is the purpose? Those are things I still don't know. Optavia is an MLM that sells weight loss programs. What they're offering to the customer is a weight loss solution through the purchase of their products. So it feels odd to me that they're now also offering this secondary opportunity to access weight loss medications as well. If your products are such a great way for people to lose weight, then why on earth are you going to funnel them to telehealth providers who can prescribe them pharmaceuticals? I'm hoping that this is a discussion we can have down in the comments because I don't have all the answers for this. I'm pretty confused by it and I don't really see what's in it for Optavia or why they're choosing to do this. There has to be some kind of benefit for them, likely a financial benefit, but I can't figure out what that is. So I'm looking forward to reading your comments and seeing what kind of insight you can offer into this situation because I don't know what's going on. I don't know why the company is choosing to do this, but I do have a prediction about
about some of the consequences. I think one of those consequences is that Optavia reps will become interested in Ozempic when maybe they weren't previously, and maybe they will go forward and sign up for Life MD and book a telehealth appointment and request a prescription. And I want to make it clear that I don't really have an opinion on Ozempic specifically. Generally speaking, I'm in full support of pharmaceutical drugs. They can be life-changing and life-saving. And if you need an Ozempic prescription for you to manage your health, that's cool. That's great. That's between you and your doctor. That's not for me to pass judgment on. But something I'm concerned about as a result of this is that people who never before considered that they ever even might want an Ozempic prescription are now going to have that idea in their head. And they're thinking, oh, my company is having this new pilot program. Maybe I'll just go ahead and see if I can get a prescription. Why not? They have a deal, 50% off. In other words, I'm worried that people who really don't need it are going to continue to seek it out and therefore making it more and more difficult for those who do need it to access it. Body image and weight issues are a massive vulnerability for a lot of people. I would argue most people. And wanting to lose weight is a feeling that I think most people can relate to at some point or another. Weight loss trends and fad diets are always all the rage. It's something new all the time and it kind of feels like Ozempic is having their moment in the spotlight right now. That is the shiny new thing. So I don't know if Optavia was the fad diet of years past and maybe now people are turning more towards weight loss injections. So Optavia has this mentality of if you can't beat them, join them maybe. Like everyone seems to be flocking to Ozempic. So maybe we should attempt to align ourselves with this trend. I don't know. That's my best guess as to why the heck they'd be doing this. But I feel like there's definitely a group of people who buy into the Optavia programs that are just looking for a crash diet to help them drop weight really quickly, really simply, regardless of if it's healthy and regardless of if they need to or not. And I put air quotes around needs to because it's very nuanced. I just worry that people who feel like they need to be on Optavia also feel like they need to be on Ozempic too. And that may continue to exacerbate the overprescription of this drug and therefore worsen the shortage, especially because these prescriptions are coming from telehealth providers. What I'm imagining here is that you pay to sign up for Life MD, you book an appointment, you set up somewhat of a Zoom call with a provider, you tell them that you want to lose weight, they write you a prescription for it, bada bing, bada boom. That's the way I'm envisioning these kinds of appointments go. I don't know that for sure. I've never booked a telehealth appointment to get Ozempic before, but the point is that these providers are not your primary care physician and they may or may not have a complete picture of your overall health. They may or may not do labs or blood work to see if you really need something like this. And I'm concerned that we are just writing Ozempic prescriptions all over the place just for the hell of it. And therefore it's hurting the people who need it the most. But like I said, I'm just spitballing here. I don't have the answers. I'm just thinking out loud as things come to mind, but I absolutely have some concerns. I'm looking forward to see what you think about all of this in the comments. And the last thing I want to touch on for this video, because I just can't let it go, is the fact that the Optavia email has this whole section about how healthy habits are at the center of their company's mission. It says, our mission remains unchanged. We meet people where they are with tools that can support them through their personal journey, helping them achieve lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. What a joke. I just want to drive the point home at the end of this video that Optavia programs do the exact opposite of creating healthy habits. The Optavia programs create habits of restriction, calculation, and obsession, none of which are conducive to a life of health. In fact, I would argue that participating in an Optavia program puts you markedly more at risk for developing an eating disorder, genuinely. Their plans are literally designed to promote disordered eating habits. Their programs are literally designed for you to take this packet of powder, dump it into this container, mix it with water, and call it a meal. There is no way you are going to have a healthy relationship with food if you are doing Optavia. I'm sorry, that is a hill I am willing to die on. It is so messed up. I also want to make it clear that them using the term lifelong transformation is laughable. That is ludicrous. Optavia programs do not support lifelong goals. Optavia is a crash diet that is the furthest thing from sustainable. People are going to quit this program eventually, whether that's because they can't stand the nasty fuelings anymore, they can't afford the exorbitant cost anymore, or they are broken down emotionally from being so restricted for so long. And you know what's going to happen when they quit Optavia? They are going to regress and they are likely going to gain all of that weight right back. 
And let's be clear that if you do gain weight back after quitting Optavia, this is not a sign of failure. It just means that you're increasing your caloric intake to a normal level again. And naturally that's going to come with weight gain if you've been living off of so few calories previously. If you go from eating 1,000 calories a day to 2,000 calories a day, you are not gonna continue losing weight at the same rate. That's just the way our bodies work. So no, it is not sustainable and Optavia does not create lifelong transformation. I think that is delusional for them to even be promoting it that way. And with that, my friends, that is all the information I have for you for this video today. I mainly just wanted to put a spotlight on this situation and put this on your radar and spread the word that an MLM company is now gonna be funneling their reps to a telehealth provider to access prescriptions to weight loss drugs. And I think that is so wild and so, so strange. Again, please let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Please enlighten me. Why is this happening? I really look forward to hearing your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next one real soon. Okay.